1999, I took a fishing trip out to the end of Fraser Island. The weather turned very bad and I got um, seasick, come home and ever since I got off that boat, I've had this um, dizzy head, giddiness, losing my balance and uh, a bit frustrated, been to see everybody I could, professors, neurologists and everything. And here's where we ended up hoping that Alan will be able to help me. Maladie department syndrome is a uh, balance disorder where people experience symptoms of rocking or bobbing or perceptually, perceptually keeping on moving. Um, so they're constantly in a, in a dizziness. Um, but the difference is, is that they don't show the clinical signs of, of other neurological conditions like um, inner ear infections or many ears disease or anything like that, which makes diagnosis much more difficult because neuro there are no neurological signs. Yeah, it would be really good to be able to see her just to be able to live, live normal life. I mean, just to go around to her place and she can't even hang the washing on the line can't do those little things that we take for granted, so Dad's been doing it all for her. It's so depressing, nobody can do anything for me. And I mean, I've had two falls with it and one I broke my shoulder. And um, I mean, then you think, well, what else is going to happen? So just gonna put the coil on um, the magnet on top of the front part of your head. Let me know how it feels. It'll feel like a tingling. Uh, one of the things that we know about male D department syndrome is that it's, it is, uh, there seems to be some changes in the brain in terms of excitability and brain activity, particularly in the, in the sensory and motor areas of the brain um, that is affecting the balance. And so that's about the extent that we understand about the, the condition at the moment. And we're looking at ways of, I guess, um, altering the excitability of the brain in terms of, of using TMS or transcranial magnetic stimulation. Just let us know how it feels. There might be a little tingling of, of hitting some nerves. All right, and just staying nice and relaxed. Here we go. How was that? Yeah, no, that's fine. Just got a little bit of tingling down my nose. Um, for our study, we're looking to recruit uh, 20 people, um, or hopefully as many as possible, given that the condition is very rare, um, and also a diagnosis of illumination. So uh, we're gonna get half the people to have real TMS and half the people to get a sham, which is like a placebo, but we won't tell them what, what they've got uh, in terms of the treatment. Um, but uh, we're gonna measure balance before and after four weeks of, of, the, uh, of the intervention, which will be done twice per week for four weeks. And then we'll follow up with the balance and the uh, survey for the uh, activities of daily living and, and how, do, how do they go about their daily life uh, at four weeks and eight weeks. Even though we haven't found a cure for the condition, um, coming to Alan has been the best thing that's really ever happened because it's given a sense of relief, at least that we've got something to um, put our hope in, I suppose. So if we find that uh, the, uh, the, the TMS works, um, then we will offer those people who have had the placebo a, 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 a bout of, of real uh, TMS treatment. There's always hope. You should never give up hope. If you, if you give up hope, you might, you might as well not be on this earth.